Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see about how to configure VTP server and VTP client, how it will be helpful for us. Okay, in real time, if you see any organization, it will have multiple switches. So there will be design change will happen uh, once in a year or something. So just imagine if it is one or two switches, you can you can add a VLAN easily. But if it is hundred switches in one office, it is very difficult to add each VLAN in all switches. So that's why the VTP concept will come into picture. Okay, VTP is nothing but VLAN tracking protocol. Last video we have seen that how to configure the trunk. So this video to work on VLAN effectively, the port should be trunk. So first I am going to do this, all this port as a trunk in all switches, then you will see. If you see all the switches, this is a first configuration. So VLAN brief, these are default VLANs, five VLANs will always be default. Now I am going to config interface first Ethernet. 0 slash 0 0 sorry 0 slash 1 switch never start with the 0 slash 0 okay so it is fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch move trunk port came up interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 switch move trunk to differentiate this i am configuring the host name as switch 1 Okay, let's do it quickly on other switches. Config T host name S0 interface for Ethernet 0 slash 1 switch mode trunk. Config T Name. Host name switch to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 switch move trunk. Now the switch all are in trunk. Okay, so these switches are ready to exchange the information. Now check so VTP status on each switch. VTP version default version number is 2. This are the default information. So VTP status. So always the VLAN 5 will be all. This is the default operating mode always for the new switch will be. Server and rest all are disabled. VTP domain is 0. Null. Okay. There is no other VLAN is created. So VTP status. Okay. Fine. Now I am going to configure the other two switches into VTP mode client. Before configuring the VTP mode into client top server, first you need to configure VTP domain name. VTP domain name will be I am making it as Dinesh. Okay. So this is case sensitive, so it should be same in all switches. Config T VTP domain Dinesh. Okay. It should be same in all switches. For example, this switch I'm going to put it in different name. It won't work. It you will get some error. Config T VTP domain name Dinesh. Okay, see, I put it as a T small. Now if you see S2, I'm going to configure S1 as a client, VTP mode client. This is VTP mode set as a client. Ready? S2, VTP mode client. See, 
domain mismatch unable to perform trunk so it should be same so i'm called changing that vdp domain name vdp domain name then yes so it should be case sensitive exactly should match in all the settings now you can check so vdp status see revision number is zero the switch is freshly introduced so revision number is zero So VTP status revision number is zero. This is main because the other switches will be updated. Only the revision number will be greater than the local revision number should be. Uh, sorry, the when VTP information is received from neighbor switch, if it is revision number is greater than the local, then it will update its database. If it is lesser, then it will remove. It's it will ignore that VTP updates. Now, what is mean this configuration revision number? Once you configure the VTP domain name, and if you are doing any configuration with respect to the VLAN, this will keep changing. For example, I am at, I am adding VLAN 10 name. See, if you see this VTP VLAN configuration is not allowed when device in client mode. So you can't add anything if it is in client mode. Now we need to add this in server mode only. Okay. So we are going to do configure this as a server. Oh, S1 is a server, should be server. VTP mode server. TP1 switch 1 is a server, this switch 2 and switch 0 is client mode. Now we will go to switch 1. So, VTP status. Now this was server. I am going to create the VLAN 10. So, VTP status. See, let's get revision. So I'm going to delete that VLAN. See, before that I created a VLAN 10. I never created VLAN 10 in switch 2 and switch 0, right? See, it's updated. The latest revision number. So VTP, so VLAN brief. See, VLAN 10 is automatically created. Similarly, switch 2. So VTP status revision config T so VLAN brief. Now I am now I am going to add VLAN 20, 30, 40 on this switch on switch one. Config T VLAN 10 already is created. So VTP status. Config T VLAN 20 VLAN 30 VLAN 40 so so VLAN brief four VLANs are created so VTP status see the revision number is changed to four now I am deleting this one one VLAN config t before that we will see so vlan brief see 40 vlan is created now i am deleting the one of the vlan delete vlan no vlan 40 sorry command is no vlan 40 so vtv now revision number is getting change to 5 so even you are deleting or removing it will be keep getting changed the revision number okay now the vlan is getting in this so vtp domain name must the vtp version default version is 2 cvtp version 1 and version 2 is uh, 
difference is in the HTTP version 2 you can send a configure that uh, authentication even now we received VTP version 3 also is there you can configure the authentication advanced security level advanced digest key secure level will be more VTP version 1 it will not be there okay now we will bruning and all we will see then later now what I am going to do I am going to change this VTP domain name to 123 once I change the VTP domain name, you can say the revision number is zero. Now, if you go and see that other switches, this is this switch again configuration revision number is greater. So we will brief. So this is the old configuration. Now I'm going to do again i'm going to revert back the same vtp domain vtp domain finish see but actually this is the is updating its highest revision number in network switch I am I am doing it removing it from network or I am shutting it from the network interface range for the channel 0 slash 1 to shut down VTP status okay config T VTP domain name one two three so VTP status will be zero config T VTP domain then is so VTP status set zero now I am going to make it this revision number 6. I am going to delete all the VLANs. VLAN 50, VLAN 60, no VLAN 10, no VLAN 20. No VLAN 30 VLAN 90. So VTP status. So this is 6. Now I am going to introduce into network. Interface to fast Ethernet 0 interface range. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, 2, no shut. So VTP status, we go to the other switches, so VTP status, see it is updated, so VLAN, brief, see the old VLANs are deleted, now new VLANs are getting replaced, so always whenever you are introducing the new switch into the network, if it is a server mode, always the revision number should be less or always do the changes whatever you want to do it in a transparent mode and introduce into network that is a big impact that is a big impact to the network if you configure the revision number greater than with the same domain and introduce into network all vlans information will be replaced with the highest version number okay i hope you are enjoyed this video if you enjoyed please like share and subscribe and support me if any improvement need to be done please let me know i will i will move it accordingly because earlier my videos are there is a no voice quality is not there so i am received this now 
the people who are giving the feedback the voice quality is good 